Yo, what is up YouTube? Um, today, I'm not gonna be doing a smoking video like I normally do. I'm gonna be doing a new pet video, like my last one. The last one had done really well. Um, I had, uh, I normally, I get, I've only posted about five videos, so it's not normally, I guess, but on those five videos, I usually get about 300, 350 views. And on the last unboxing video of my animals, I got about 800, 750, and it's still rising for some reason, which is awesome. I'm really happy about it. So I'm thinking I might as well show off my new girl. And if you can see the title of the video, you probably already seen, you already know what she's gonna be. But I had just gotten her about a week ago, so I let her get comfortable with the house and everything before doing this video. I had just made her a new um, cage, a four foot by four foot cage. I do plan to go bigger just because I want her to be as comfy and as have as big a space to roam and play as possible. So let's go ahead and move on to what it is. She is a nine foot red tail boa constrictor. Since she's a red tail, her name was Reba. I didn't name her the last people I got her from named her and I love the name. I don't plan to change it. I love Reba. <laughs> I used to watch that show growing up all the time. Okay, she's wrapped around my ankle right now. Come here, babe. <laughs> she's trying to go explore. Okay, so she is a red tail boa. And if you notice, she's huge. She is absolutely huge. She's wrapped around three times on my ankle right now. So just for a reference, she is big and beautiful. Here, I'm gonna get her unwrapped so I can show y'all her tail. Her tail's my favorite part, completely, definitely, 100% my favorite part. And reasonable, because they, they're red tails, so. I mean, I guess, obviously, the tail's gonna be the fun part of them, or the colorful part. This is her tail. Oh, see, she's just playing. She's like, why are you touching my tail? <laughs> see the beautiful pattern? What's awesome about these snakes, the red tail boas, if this is even a real red tail boa, obviously I don't know 100%. I got it from somebody. So it could be, I think it is. She really resembles it. So the cool thing about these are, these are one of the most friendly big snakes there are. So if you ever wanted to like get a big snake that's good with children in the future or like they're gonna be good with your animals probably. They probably won't eat your dogs or kill your dogs or kill your cats, stuff like that. These are a great one to get. She has a little breathing problem. She was a rescue. She breathes real loud. And I'm trying to get figure out why. But the guy I had got her from said that she's always breathed loud. He got um, a veterinarian to come out and check her out and she was fine. She didn't have anything wrong at all. No upper respiratory infection. Nothing like that. You see her? She's just sitting here wrapped up around me. Can't move my arms. She's in that weird, scary position for me. <laughs> She's literally wrapped all the way around my arms. <laughs> Both arms. Oh, you want a hug? So yeah, they are very friendly, very, very friendly. So these 
would be a great one if you've never had a big snake. There, if you notice, she just wants to play. She just wants to explore. She doesn't hurt nothing. I mean, I honestly don't let her around the cat just because I'm scared she's going to mistake her or mistake him for food. Just because she she's big enough, she eats small bunnies and large rats. So it's she's definitely big enough to kill the cat. She might not be able to eat him, but she can definitely kill him, you know? And that's one of my nervous things. Like, I'm really nervous that might happen. But that's also why I made such a nice cage. I wanted to make sure she couldn't get out. She couldn't escape. But for their environment, they like... They don't like 75, but 75 is low as you can go in the temperature range. But you have to remember they're a tropical animal. So they need upwards of 85 degrees. They like a basking spot of 95 degrees. And they like as much humidity as possible. They, like I said, they're tropical animals. They set in the rain. So whenever it's storming outside, they get really energetic. They love to go explore. They love to roam around. And what's so cool about these snakes is you can take them outside with you. If you're ever having a beautiful day outside, you see Bubba? <laughs> if you're ever having like a beautiful day outside and you just wanna go outside, you can. You can take it outside and let it play in the grass with you. It's not fast. It is not a super fast animal. They're fast strikers. They are not fast roamers. So you can, what I do is I set them outside and I'll sit down and I'll let her roam about 20 feet. And then I'll walk up behind her and let her roam another 20 feet. And then take her back to where I started and just continue, you know? Let her get her exercise so she's not always boxed up in a four by four. And if you've noticed, she hasn't really moved at all. She, once she finds where she wants to be and how she's comfortable, she's gonna stay that way. Like obviously if she sees something that piques her interest, she's gonna go explore. That's what I love so much about her so far is she's so, I don't, what's the, she's such an explorer. She just loves to n look for shit look for shit. She loves to find new places to hide. She loves to, she just, she loves to be held. If you haven't noticed, like she really does. I'm not, my hands, she's holding me. I'm not holding her. She's wrapped around one leg, all the way around my body, back up and over my shoulder. And her head's just on my back. I can feel it just laying on my back. Yeah, so she, I really love her. Uh, I've only had her for a week, so I probably love her because she hasn't bitten me yet, <laughs> you know? But, uh, the person I got her from said she's never bitten anybody, but she was a rescue, so he obviously doesn't know before he got her. But she's never bitten anybody. She's great with kids. He says he lets little kids hold her, so I'm excited to let my little sister hold her, or maybe not hold her, but take pictures by her. <clears throat> yeah there if you see her pattern she has those circles all the way down her back until it gets to her red tail and then the pattern changes it's so weird mm, she's awesome <laughs> I can't believe it but yeah this is my red tail boa she eats every three weeks and she's still this fat she he only eats one large rat every three weeks, and she's this fat. <laughs> it's a great animal to have. If you're scared of snakes, I understand. I personally, I'm nervous around snakes too. I'm not scared of snakes. I've always really liked snakes and all the ways have really wanted them. So it's not like I'm just terrified. I'm more nervous about what I don't know. So I don't know how bad the bite's gonna hurt. You know, that's that's pretty much where I'm at. Like, I don't know if... Don't want to strike in. I mean, she's good with animals, but it's just a safety precaution. I don't want him to get video. Yeah, I'm just, I'm nervous about the unknown, pretty much. Back up, Bubba, back up, back up. Go lay down, go lay down, go lay down. <laughs> 
He's a lover. He just wants, he's all, every time I bring her out, he just wants to play with her. And I'm just scared she's going to snap on him. But yeah, I'm, I'm nervous about what if when they do snap, how fast do they coil up and start to squeeze, you know, like little things like that. But I've also done a lot of studying. If your snake ever does bite you and won't let go, because you can't rip your hand out of a snake's mouth. Like, I mean, I'm sure you can, but it's going to scratch you a bunch and cut you up. Snakes have teeth and they have a bunch of teeth and they're pointed backwards. So when they catch you, it's, you're not supposed to pull unless you're going to mess all your skin up and all that stuff. So what you want to do is if they bite you, you fill up either cold water in your bathtub, something like that, and you dunk them under it. And that'll shock them and make them open their mouth usually. Or you can get Listerine mouthwash and spray it in their face. I've never done neither of these techniques. These are just some things that I have seen. And yeah, uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I know I enjoy Reba a lot and I hope y'all do as well. Oh no, the cat's coming. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed her as much as I enjoyed making this video. And uh, I do plan on letting people take pictures with her, but it's not, this isn't gonna be a prop for your photo shoot, you know? So like, if you see me walking around and I have her out, then yeah, i will be more than happy to take a picture of you for $5 or something, you know? But other than that, I will not be letting her go to people's houses without me, like people have been asking. I won't be letting, I won't, she, she's not leaving my side, she's not leaving my house, you cannot use her as a prop in your shows and your fucking OnlyFans, stuff like that, it's not happening, okay? Um, it's just, it's too stressful for her and it's not fair. How would you like to be used for pictures, you know? Well, I, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed. I know I enjoyed making it. I hope y'all watch my next videos. I know I'm excited to make those as well. I have a couple already made, just need edited. I'm starting to go to where I actually do want to edit them. I want to make them a little bit cooler than they have been. And I found somebody who would love to do it. So my buddy Steven said he would do it. So we're going to give it a shot, you know? I mean, I'm going to be happy either way. <laughs> so... Have a great day, y'all. God bless you.